everyone. I'm Ricky Neer, founder of Beautiful Energy School. Uh, if you've known me for just a short time, maybe you've known me from my time here in Corpus, that through my meditation classes and meditation work, um, maybe you've seen lately that I've had some posts that sound a little bit um, outspoken. And I'll tell you what happened with that. I've always been that way. I put everything on pause to start hosting meditation classes. And my work in meditation is about becoming clear. It's about knowing who you are. It's about getting rid of all of the debris and all of the illusions and everything that we think we are and how we think we're supposed to show up in life. As I meditate, I begin, I begin to get very, very clear. I get very clear on who I am and what I want to do in this world and how I want to show up. As a writer, as someone who is about vocal expression and power and passion, I realized that I had gotten a little soft, you know, the soft, just everybody feel good, we're all love, we're all just going to get along and sing kumbaya. And that's a nice feeling, you know, to kind of hang out there. But I'm also, I'm also what I've coined to be a liberated activist. It's someone who has such a passion for humanity that they're willing to speak up and take risks. And oftentimes in our communities when we speak up and we take risks like that, we make people uncomfortable. And when people are uncomfortable, they may feel like we're not acting in love. And I'm here to tell you that it's all love. And um, this is gonna be a little shout out for some work that I'm doing right now. Um, I've connected with the Rebel Academy and connected with some really wonderful, like-minded people that have given me the courage to be able to stand up and express my voice. It's always been there. It's always been there. And it took me uh, a moment last week to kind of just have a little bit of a breakdown. One last piece where I wasn't being true to myself. I wasn't being authentic. And that was writing and expressing and being passionate about my truth here um, with, with what I want to do with my work. And I feel so liberated and, and awesome for being able to do this. And I did this work for me. And I've said tonight at writing camp, I said, I think, um, no, I like my truth better than I like being liked. <laughs> and um, it took years of deprogramming to um, get to a place where that wasn't as important as making a difference. And I went through some things alone and I, suffered alone in silence and that was not a good place so I express because I don't want anybody to have to go through that I want people to know that are hurting and grieving and suppressing because we are told we have to show up a certain way we have to act a certain way we can't speak against certain things and just to say you're not alone if you're feeling conflicted about something if there's something you want to talk about and something you're passionate about doing the work of meditation, the inner work, to get really, really clear, and then be able to share from your heart in a place that's gonna make a difference is the most powerful work that you can do. And um, all my writing and blogging and sharing is about that. I'm doing exactly what I teach. I'm practicing what I preach. So I just wanted to give you a shout out and just um, clarify everything, let you know where I'm coming from, that I love you, I love you. That's, it's, we're all love. And love looks a lot of different ways to a lot of people. And when you shatter the illusions of what we think love is, and we, we stop thinking about how people should behave in love and find our own love, find our own truth, and express it together, we can really make a difference um, in the movement for pushing humanity forward, as Mind Valley says, making a difference, liberating humanity in your own way. I just encourage you tonight. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being part of my community. Bye.